Oh, definitely. I mean, uh, it was the master at psychology. I mean, we, we pay fortunes at football clubs now for psychologists and people and things like that. And in Alex Ferguson, Sir Alex Ferguson and Brian Clough, you had the two, the two masters at psychology there, you know. And I was lucky enough to be under both, at, at, although it was only for a month at Manchester United. Well, I was only there for a month, so and it was really weird how it how it all come about. But because my reputation on the after dinner circuit is, I would say, is growing uh, quite rapidly. Actually, uh, I've been asked to do the Manchester United ex players dinners a couple of times. I'm meant to be doing a golf day that's just actually got cancelled and moved to another date. So I'll be speaking at that one. Um, I think it's just having that affiliation. So Alex Ferguson took me there for a month on loan. I'd played at Old Trafford earlier on that season. Manchester United knocked Forrest out the FA Cup. They needed a goalkeeper to back up Jim Layton in nineteen in nineteen ninety because uh, Mark Bosnich couldn't get a work permit. I was just playing in the reserve game for Forrest at Scarborough, and I got the shout off Cluffy. Um, I don't know if I can say it on air. I can. Well, he used to call me shit house. <laughs> Okay, so I was on the bus coming back uh, from the res the reserve game. We'd finished at Scarborough. I'd played for Forest. I'd played at Manchester United earlier on in the season. Would have beat us one nil, and I'd done pretty well. But I wasn't a regular in the first team, so I got the shout off Cluffy of uh, the bus. Uh, Shit house! Get your boots and get your gloves. You're going to Manchester United in the morning, son. And again, I thought, you know, this is a wind up. But apparently. There'd been a conversation with Sir Alex and, and Brian Clough and he needed a goalkeeper as Manchester United obviously had knocked us out of the FA Cup, which probably serves Sir Alex's job, actually. Mark Robbins scored a header against Forrest, which I didn't play in the game. And I ended up the next morning at Manchester United as cover for Jim Layton and a trip down to Hereford um, in the FA Cup. I was there as cover. So that's how it happened, really. Mm -hmm.